this is Carrie Brutank. Now we are in our factory. We will introduce our 500 liter combined two vessel brew house for you. As you can see, this is our kettle, uh, much larger tank and uh, workable tank. And the other tank is our kettle tank. Okay, we will introduce more details for you. Hello. Come with me, I will introduce some details for this 500 liters combined the two vessel. As you can see, uh, it has two tanks, and uh, some, some friends like to say it like uh, two vessels. Uh, this vessel is combined the uh, muscle tank and the water tank. Another vessel is cattle tank itself. And uh, later, we will introduce uh, some more details of uh, cattle tank, and uh, I will introduce some details. Okay, the top tank is our much larger tank. Some friends like to uh, name it uh, much larger tank, and some friends like to name it much town. Whichever, uh, it's this tank. Uh, okay, let's uh, introduce this tank from bottom to the top. Um, this is our uh, mobile uh, false bottom. It has a uh, little distance between the uh, false bottom. Uh, and uh, this is our uh, rigger and uh, the top is our spray ring um, look at inside you can see a uh, temperature probe and uh, IP4 uh, let me show some details of it okay let's introduce uh, this much larger tank from top to bottom, uh, and uh, this, uh, this is our um, site man hall. Uh, and open it, you can see it has some uh, different uh, fittings and accessories uh, of the tank. From the top, it has CIP board, uh, and uh, next to uh, CIP board, it has three ring, of course. The rake motor is connected with our rake, and the bottom is our false bottom. Okay, that's all of um, our much longer tank, and uh, we have another uh, accessories beside the uh, mesh tank. It's our suit. You can you can put it on uh, this location when you. Uh, Finish the first step machine process. You can you can use a rig to pull spin going out. Uh, that this suit can help you, and you can use it to pull spin going out easier. Okay, now going to um, the bottom. Um, this is our rocker tank. Um, as you can see, it has doesn't have level two. Um, um, but we have a special um, design. As you can see here, on the VMAX door, we have a client, uh, we have a nickel check, check hole. We can check the words and the beer through this hole. Um, okay, let's open the door and check the inside of the tank. Um, Okay, it has a um, CRT ball and uh, potential verbal impact. And uh, here is also a, a grid, grid pole. We will introduce the potential verbal inlet for you. Um, and this is our special de design, and uh, the work can be pumped into the, uh, into the whirlpool tank through the potential whirlpool inlet and uh, um, we can get the sediment and the protein um, on the bottom. Then you can get very clear words. Next to the water tank, it's fitted with a side glass. Uh, this design uh, can help you to observe the color and the clarity of the word. So we add this design in this, uh, in this uh, point. Uh, okay, next to the this vessel is our water pump. It's, this is a powerful pump. 
it can help you to uh, pump your wort from this tank to another tank because our pump is uh, 0 0.75 kilowatt. Okay, next we will introduce our kettle tank beside me. Um, um, the, this is our uh, plasma hole, and uh, as you can see here is our con um, optional configuration. Mm, we have, uh, this is our uh, indoor condensing system. Um, for this condenser, we have two types. One is outdoor, and um, it has a chimney. Uh, for this system, our uh, customer wants want use this configuration to our custom want to use this optional configuration. Okay, let's in, let's open the glass manhole. We can see here is the uh, temperature ball and the CRP ball as well. You can see between two tanks, it has a long distance between uh, this tank because there's our customers requests. Uh, so the distance of stairs is, is so narrow uh, rather than wider as before. Next, let me introduce this part. Uh, this is the key part from Whirlpool to Fermenter, also named the knockout process. The work, once the mash finished, the work firstly go to the house filter. Plant um, heating exchanger, temperature gauge, oxygen device, side glass, and then yes, the engine tank, and then go to the fermenter. For this plant heating exchanger, it has six square meter flat air uh, cooling area, and uh, it is a uh, double stainless type. Through the soft glass, glass, you can see the clarity uh, of the words uh, before knocking out to the fermenter. All right, well, that's our pretty 500 liters combined the two vessels. Uh, okay, if you have any uh, questions or if you want to know how to brew your beer by beer brew equipment, uh, just follow us or leave your message in comment area or by uh, email to us. Um, of course, just follow us. We will share many tips and many uh, details of beer brew equipment in our channel. Okay, uh, thanks for your following and uh, see you next time. <laughs>